Hello everyone. Today we're going to uh, be replacing the automatic door opener assembly win uh, window uh, assembly for a 2002 Avalanche on the driver's side. Uh, so first things first, we're just going to tape put some tape over this to hold the hold the window up. And on this last gasp, the automatic window assembly managed to push the window into the correct position so I'm gonna tape the window into an upright position and uh, we'll be right back alrighty so we put some tape tape up here to hold the window in the right position and now I think we're gonna try and take this uh, door assembly off of here let me get the right uh, ratchet and thing there's a screw up under here I don't know if you can see that there's a, let's see, where's the other one? There's a, one like underneath the door, like right here. And then there's, I know there's one more hiding from us. Well, let's get those two and then uh, we'll figure out where that other one is. We'll be, we'll be back, I need to get the right wrench. Okay, we're back. Got some coffee, got a screwdriver, Okay, so there's those two bolts there. Apparently it's a 9 3 seconds ratchet head there. So this thing pops off here. I think this part comes off. Pretty sure this comes off. Okay. So you just kind of pull up on that. It's got these couple pins. Oh, that one stayed there. Nice. Okay, anyway. I don't know if it's supposed to stay there, but then you got these things here. Anyway, there's another screw here to lift off this door panel. I don't know if you can see that right there. So, we'll unplug this stuff here. Get this out of the way. Let's see here. Looks like we just pull it out, maybe. I'm trying to see how... Okay. Oh. Trying to get this, just unplug this here. Didn't really make it where you could grab a hold of it, though. Whoops, lock the door, unlock. Pretty sure I need to take this off though. Otherwise it might be in the way, so. <laughs> I just don't wanna grab the wires and just pull. Okay, we'll be back. You probably don't need to see me fighting with this. Okay, we'll be back once I get this thing. Just the, it's just the three connections here that I wanna pull off. To get this piece off so we'll be right back hold on all right we're back everyone turns out uh i used channel locks to grab these bigger ones pull those out and then uh to grab this one that had a locker thing right here i had to push that in with a screwdriver and just kind of work it work it out it didn't come out very easy anyway that's done and revealing our next bolt here so we pull off these those three bolts this one here Where's the other one? This one here, and the one that's underneath, underneath here. And uh, then we can pull this panel off after we get this piece off. So, here it'll just... so we're gonna unscrew this one, this one, and if you'll just take a trip with me under here, uh, this one right here. So I'm gonna do those, th unscrew those three real quick. Put you on pause, and we'll be right back. So we unscrewed those three. Now we're gonna pop off. I'm sorry. Keep pointing to the screen. I'm gonna pop off this panel here. I think we just come up under it. Maybe with a screwdriver and pull it up this way, I believe. Maybe. There's something holding it. Okay. What is holding them on there? This appears to be something like right here. Cannot see. Maybe it's. Okay. Uh, 
okay a couple of okay <laughs> so you don't want to pry up from the bottom because it's got a lip there and you'll be prying against the lip so what you want to do is pop the top and the side it's got the two pop clips right there and there so when you're trying to take this panel off don't don't pry it from the bottom because you're fighting against that piece right there so come up from the top and the side okay okay doke I think now, let's see. Oh, I think we need to take this little this little panel off right here. Let's see how that come off like. Just pry this side. It's got some just some clips, I think, here. There we go. So yeah, it's got it fits in over here. It slides in over here. And then it's got a slide on the top. It's got two clips here and here so those are what here and here no here and toward the bottom so you just kind of pop it out with a screwdriver and that comes off of there and then we should be able to just take this whole panel and just lift it up I think lift it up and then kind of out okay so there's a couple things still plugged in I'm gonna reach behind the door, sorry I can't really show it to you, but there's a couple things still plugged in. Reach behind the door and just unplug those. Just don't want to rip the door off here. Great. I'm gonna try to do this with one hand. Oh boy. Let's see here. If I can rest it with my knee, then I can use two hands. Why are they gonna make this so difficult? I can't even really see. Is it like? Oh, okay. Okay, one to the speaker. One to this here. Oh boy, we got a tab on it. Got my thumb a little bit there, but maybe just to unplug that. And we got one more down here. Got to unplug. Let's see. See that there? Anyway, hold on a moment. Uh, bunch of stuff behind there, so don't just rip the panel off. Pull the panel up gently. Maybe even rest it on the bottom things. Open it. So you can look at the things you got plugged in there. Reach behind, unplug the things, hold on. And that's what we're going to do right now. And we'll get to back to it. Alright, we're back. That last one, you can see here, it was just a light bulb. And it turned out it was just easier just to pull the whole thing away from... It fits in, it fit in down here. It was just easier to pull the little light bulb out of that little socket thing than to actually try and remove that so it just came off like that so that's why we'll set our door panel like over here okay and then now what are we looking at looking at the inside of the door here uh i think this has got to come off so we can take the plastic off this pops this pops off here and then uh that's about it and get the plastic kind of moved to the side. And then we can get at the motor and stuff in there. So let me find the right wrench for this. And uh, we'll be right back one second. Okay. Apparently the socket size for this is 10 millimeter. So that. And this door handle. Oh, let's see here. Hold on. Let's pop this little thing off first here. It's got a little plastic bracket here. I think you can just kind of pop it out of there, I think. I think. Maybe. These are always easier 
said than done here. There we go. Pop that away from there. There. I don't know if you can see that. There's a hot plastic part right here. This goes down into there, into the hole here, this metal rod, and this plastic clips on like that. So I just him from behind with the screwdriver and pop the plastic away from the little metal rod. And then I can unscrew this. Okay. Now I believe this slides. It's got two clips I think that go this way. So I think we slide it out that way. Yeah. Got the two or three clips here. So the thing is once you just slide it on, slide it off that way. Okay, I'm pretty sure now we can just like peel this back and make sure to well, maybe I will take this off here now that it's more accessible, maybe. clip right there. <laughs> okay, anyway, took that light bulb thing off there. It would be easier to get the wire through there. Okay, so now we can feed that through there pretty easy. Fill this here. Wires here. Let's make sure that comes through there all right. Okay. And then, okay. So we're, <laughs> well, the whole thing just came off. Cool. Let's have some coffee. Hmm. Yep. Not sure if that's supposed to be like that. Whoa. Ah, I felt like something went down my back there. So, yep, I think that's our problem. Cable snapped. <sighs> yeah. So, I don't know if it's just living on the coast here or what, but these things tend to go out pretty frequently. <sighs> I don't know if oh, the cables start rusting a little bit. Looks like that's the case. And then, yeah, it doesn't take very long for them just to go bye bye. So, bolt here, bolt here, bolt here, hold this assembly, bolt here bolt here bolt here holds it holds assembly that's in there so we're gonna go ahead and unscrew those three let me see yeah. okay. so lower i don't know if there's any specific order for this lower middle like the speaker <laughs> it's over here yeah okay that was nice <laughs> alrighty so we got those two then we got a uh, in here we got these uh, Phillips heads holding though I think they're holding clamps that hold the window so we're gonna get a Phillips head I'm gonna go grab one real quick. Hold on a moment. Don't go nowhere. Okay, we are back. Got a Phillips head. So I think I'm gonna free the window. Okay. That side, free it from this side. Okay. And then. 
through the last one. And that's why we have the window taped up there. So this doesn't go anywhere. Okay. This is the last one here. It is to there, right? Yes. Okay. Now, nothing should be keeping this thing up except. Oh, there's a little tab right here. Clips on. There we go. And there's a little tab over here on this one also. Hooks on. Lift that up. Pull it down. Let's see what we got here. I was touching the motor right here. Unplug this thing here. Okay. Just press down and ah, pull that out. Okay. Then just fold this up here. This one up. Just make sure we're not hung up on anything there. What are we hung up on exactly? Okay. From there. Just pull this part out of here. Pull this part out of there and yeah like that right there right here this part cable snapped and that's not supposed to be like that so there we go so that's pulling it out pretty simple pretty straightforward um, we're gonna go ahead and get some paper towels real quick for my hands be right back one second and we're back got some gloves on got this replacement thing here and just for those out there who don't like wasting money like I apparently do um, if you have one of these brake you can just get this the brackets with the wires and all that and without the motor and the motors like 40 or 50 bucks 30 I don't know it depends on where you shop but it can be upwards of $50 just for the motor apart from this other the other uh, setup and my motor was still good so live and learn apparently I, you don't have to get the whole replacement thing you just get a replacement of this and, and not the motor so at any rate uh, I'm gonna go ahead and stick this thing back up in there let's see I'm trying to figure it out here Okay, it goes. Uh, hold on a moment. <laughs> Let's see here. Now? I'm confused. What in the world? A. Why does it look like brackets are... Okay, I'm looking at this old one here. The old one's like this. Right? We had it in there like this. Put it up in there like that, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Now I've got this one here. So I'm assuming... It's like, okay. Right. <laughs> In the world, do you twist one of them? Like this. <laughs> what? 
What in the world? Okay, so I don't know if you guys are seeing what I'm seeing here, but this the thing that holds a window is down here on the bottom by my right wrist there. <laughs> this part. So this goes up and down this rail right here, right? And it does on the same one over here, but look, it's upside down. <laughs> Unless... They want me to twist it? Okay. All right, never mind. It just came in the box like this, so it was weird, and it was like folded, so. Never mind, people, problem solved. Okay. So this says it just has two bolts instead of three. There's only. One, two, three, one, two, yeah, I'm only seeing just two. There's no third bolt on this side like there is on the replace on the other one. So anyway, we'll unscrew the parts on this. Hold on, and then we'll screw them back in. Okay, so that settled. Ah, out of the way. Okay. So then we'll go ahead and stick this part in there. Both the brackets are at the bottom. So we'll want to connect this to give it power. There we go. Greasy. And then we'll want to get the does go through there and it goes right there so it's only got two so top one here we're just gonna screw it in a little bit and then the bottom one here is gonna come through this hole right here okay so we're just gonna have it kind of sitting there for now do the same over here. Get it kind of sitting there for now. Um, it should have a bolt there. A piece comes through down, down here. Right here. Okay. There. There. Good. a little bit easier. Okay. And then let's not so easy when you got grease all over your hands. Okay. And then there's one more here. And this is using the old bolt. Okay. So 
And now we gotta hook up our power window in order. Let's see, I think this is the window. Uh, pretty sure this. <laughs> I guess for future reference, it's good to know which one was your window and which one was, was your locks and all that. There's only this one only fits into one. These two can fit anywhere, so we don't want to do locks, we want to do the window. So I'm pretty sure this one was the window. I thought it was. Or does it go like this? Let's try this one. Let's try and raise it up here. Oh, need the key in the ignition. Hopefully. The is welcome, and they say it very clearly in there. Okay, everyone, we're back making mistakes so you don't have to. Apparently, you can't just plug in one of the things. You have to plug in both of them, otherwise it's not getting the full power. So even though it, you got one plugged in, it seems like it's doing something. And maybe this one just seems like it's for the power lock. You gotta plug in both of them. Then it gives it the power to move them. So, Anyway, now that we figured that out, now you don't have to make that mistake. And now you don't think that something's broken when it's not. So now once you have this working, just you attach all the bolts, right? And then you get it secure. Then you go ahead and move these up to the window. Here's the bottom of the window right here. You can see it. So we're gonna snug this up into the glass there. And it should be up all the way. Okay, so that looks snug there, and then we'll just tighten those down, tighten them down pretty good. Tight. That pinches it to the glass there. I don't know how tight you get those, but. Now, I'm going to take here, make, make sure that it can uh, move the window up and down so I'll undo the tape. Alrighty, let's see if it moves our window up and down here now. Cool. Seems to work just fine. Okay. So, appears to be working just fine. That's what we like to see. Let's go ahead and just 
finish this off. So we'll undo this. Man, this is difficult with greasy hands. Um, anyway, we'll pause this. Uh, get this taken off. Then we'll show you putting the stuff back on. Okay. Okay, got that off. So now, just reattach this thing, right? This, this, yeah. The wire, harness, all that for here. here fits into the hole down there and then this piece slides over like that and clips on there there we go I think that's doing something hopefully wrong then we'll fix it later but anyway let's just get this panel on here put the panel back on let's see oh yeah let's attach this little light bulb on here again okay we'll put these brackets in here first to kind of hold the door there then we'll put our little light bulb thing in there Okay, 
It just kind of snugs in there, I guess. Put those bottom pieces in. right now. Oh, there it is. Oh my goodness. Okay, there it goes. Fell down onto the ground there. That's what we wanted, I guess. Okay. Should slide. Mm -hmm. Should slide down in there. What I'm missing here. This one's not. Oh. Let's pop this out. Because I think it's interfering with this. Pop the door lock thing out. <laughs> <laughs> side and the other okay pop that out so I think we're hitting up against that there's one two three four five six seven eight tabs that it got to go in so the bottom ones get the bottom ones fed in there and you kind of push those in where they're supposed to be lean it forward, the rest of them, kind of got and then, there, so, <laughs> so push the bottom ones in, get them in there, then push the whole rest of the panel, try and, you got to pull this tab out, otherwise your lock's going to mess you up up there, push the whole panel, try and uniformly push it in at once, and then all down at the same time because like there's like nine hooks in here they got to go into holes and then once they're all in the holes you got to pull the whole panel down to get them to rest in there and then it should be it should be like that and then we can put this back on there line that up with the hole there okay okay otherwise probably gonna have something messed up there. Let's go ahead and put this back in. Pretty much it folks reattach this put this back in there
goes in first, again, and then this just comes down. Push that in. Why is it not pushing in? Because there's another piece right there. So get the top and the right side in. Get the, this side and this the top in first. Then yeah, just snap that in there like that. And then just re-screw in the other pieces. We should be good. And there you go, folks. That's uh, that's how you redo all that. And that's how you replace that. Sorry for the complications there. Hopefully that mistake that I made will help you not make the same mistake. Make, make sure you hook up both both the things to make sure your window is going up and down. And uh, that's it. That's how to replace the window, rotor, whatever, motor assembly on a 2002 Avalanche. I think a lot of years are the same on these things. Tahoe, Avalanche, Suburban probably. So that's how you do it, folks. Thanks for watching. Appreciate the views and uh, comment if you have any. I'll try and answer any questions. Seems pretty self-explanatory. If I can do it, anyone can do it. Have a great day, everyone. Hey, okay, bye. Okay, and one final note when you're putting your door on. Make sure you're, you kind of press uniformly on the whole door. And then push it down and then check underneath here. There you go. Check underneath here to make sure this is flush. Because I had the whole panel in there. And one of the bottom ones wasn't flush. And I noticed it because... When you're screwing these last two screws in to attach everything, make sure you're very careful putting them in because I didn't have this panel on and I tried to screw this one and it fell and it fell right down in there. Had to take the door, the panel off again. Just did the same thing with this one. I was trying to screw it in, it kind of fell off, fell right in there, had to take the whole panel off again. So just the last little um, tip there is make sure, be very careful once you put those in that they don't fall because if they do, probably gonna fall right down in here again, and you'll have to redo the whole whole door panel. Not that so, not that it's a huge deal, but it might just save you a couple minutes. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, everyone. One final final note: the new uh, window assembly I had came with bolts and stuff already, so I had these left over. I noticed I think it was in a Tahoe, or maybe the last time I replaced this one. Um, it didn't come with any bolts. So just because you have these extra, because the one you, the assembly that you got came with some, keep these um, just in case like the next one you buy, if the next one breaks or whatever, the next one you buy doesn't have its own bolts, make sure you keep the bolts in a, a place where you know where they are so you can use them uh, when you need to. And uh, yep, that's the last tip. Thanks for watching everyone, appreciate uh, Appreciate the view. Hopefully that helped. Hopefully I made some mistakes so you don't have to. And uh, have a great day. Take care, everyone. It took me like, I don't know, without that one snag, and I've only done this like three times before. Really self-explanatory. You could probably do this in, in, a, in a half hour pretty easy. I know this, min this video is like 43 minutes long, and it probably took like an hour actually to do stuff with trying to figure stuff out, but it's, you know, just following the instructions, following stuff, pretty simple. Pretty quick, pretty easy. Definitely wouldn't want to pay someone like $100 or something to do this. Because you can do it easily on your own. So anyway, hope it helped. Hope it saved you some money. Have a great day, everyone. Thanks for watching. Okay, bye.